and hello everyone. I'm gonna turn on the music there so we can hear it. Yes, hello everyone, welcome to the stream. Just realized that my chat box is way lower than where it should be. There we go, we're gonna fix that. Uh, and so now we're going to be playing Rosetta today. Rosetta is a game from Story Machine Games. They created this wonderful experience that I really enjoy and I have some lovely guests to hang out with today. And we're gonna go over and meet them right now. Here we go. Uh, Hello, dropping frames. There we go. Ah, so we've got Daniel and Pete hanging out with us today. We've got wonderful people to hang out with. And we've got Monique in the chat. Yes, thank you, Monique. Welcome, welcome. So if you're unfamiliar with this game, uh, Rosetta is a drawing game about interpreting an ancient language. And during every round, each person, uh, there's going to be one author, and that will be me for the first round. And then we're going to go up to Daniel and then Pete, if we have time, uh, to make sure that we can have everyone give, get a sh shot at this. There are 10 rounds in every game. You have 10 rounds to be able to come to the correct solution of the word. So the author gets to decide what that word is. So in this case, we see that there's a glyph to my, to my right here that means something. And then there's an image to the right that is the idea that this image is trying to, uh, it's related to the idea that this image is trying to present. So this image might be trying to describe war. So that might be the meaning of this, this glyph to my right. And then over the course of 10 rounds, the guessers, Daniel and Pete, will have to come up with uh, some way, I'm actually gonna make Pete's name, <laughs> A little bit smaller because his name is getting way too big here. <laughs> My name. His last name. You can also see his last name in the chat here. There we go. Uh, so. There we go. And you just saw that there is a contest running that uh, is in my uh, above my head that just went into comments. I uh, currently can win a copy of the game. Game of Thrones Digital, because we're running that this this week, which is nice. So uh, it looks like things switched out here for some reason. I don't know why. Um, let's go back here so I can actually have a little bit more control over this. There, uh, where, this was war. There we go. That was war. And so I have to assign meanings to each individual part of this glyph. So it might be the left glyph is person. Uh, and the middle one is weapon, and the other one is uh, a town or, or something. So I, and I can change them up as we go. And so the guessers have to come up with a word every round to try to come to the greater meaning of the word. So they might say man. And so man might be just the letter, like what the symbol I is. I'm missing a, a bunch of the other parts of it, but uh, again, here, I'll, sh I'll show you what I mean here. Because as we draw, this is something that I have figured out. So if they say man, it might be just this symbol. And so I would have the word man above this. It's not completely the word person because you have to take that into, into regard. And so we put the word man above that and try to figure out that to what, the best of our abilities, what does this whole meaning of the word mean? The author also gets to decide the orientation of the glyph. So if they don't like the glyph as it is, they can rotate it. Uh, after round three, there is an ability that starts to, that shows up and the players get to decide if they want to use that or not. And after round six, the uh, author gets to say what the meaning of this small box is. See in, in, the, in the bottom right of this box, there is a small uh, symbol which corresponds to a direct part of the greater glyph. So I would say like weapon as that, as that bottom right one, okay? So we'll have 10 rounds and over the course of those 10 rounds, we'll uh, just learn together what that might, what, what the word might be. But let's clear out the board here so that we have a fresh slate. Uh, we do not have a word and we'll just jump into the first round here. All right, so I'm going to come up with a new uh, scene here, and I'm going to choose a new glyph. Okay, so we're going to make this the glyph. And I need to come up with something that is related to this image, but not in the image. So I couldn't say 
kiln or fire or windmill because it's literally there. Uh, so I have to come up with something else that is related to it. I was going to guess windmill. <laughs> uh, all right. So... Okay, okay. I think I, I think I have it. Um, just making sure that I, I, I'm, I'm doing this properly so that it's, it's good. Again, this is a little bit more open ended than, uh, than other games of the same type. So, okay. Yeah. I, I, again, I'm just, I'm, I'm making sure that I can. I can do this. Okay, yep, okay. I got it. I got it. I'm, I'm assigning the meaning of the word. Oh, wow. Uh, and that will show up eventually. All right. So, now, go ahead and come up with a word that might get you towards what you want. And, oh, do I want this here, like this? Uh, no, I actually, I actually want this to be rotated. So I want that. I want that like that. Yes. Do it. Yep. It's gonna be like that. It spells sim. So that's <laughs> uh, another very important thing is that the language that is featured in this glyph it cannot have any related piece to it. So uh, we can't use any common language at all. So it does not spell sim. <laughs> All right. It says I, I'm looking at the word sim right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we discuss together what word we would like to guess. Yes. Right. And then I will draw the the that word in this fictional language. Right. Okay. Um, which possibly could be one of the components we're looking at of the several glyphs. Correct. We see. Okay. And then and then the the thing that we're saying is like in the scene but not in the scene mm -hmm. right yes it's not going to be literally represented here um all right so you've played before daniel what do you what do you think I, I, we should a, go for yeah ian's ian's tricky ian's gives gives us some some hardball sometimes okay so knowing that knowing that background information um i, I like this is like a rural countryside thing but he totally could be doing like a, a scythe thing and saying it's a mech. <laughs> <laughs> we're not. We shouldn't guess mech. But okay. Ian I mean, he's in theory up. he's on our side. We're we're all working together here. You say that. But... <laughs> you say that. There are some people who like play co-ops differently. <laughs> true. Very true. Um. What do you think it is? What do you think it is? Just based on like whatever the what image pops out to you with this hieroglyph thing. <laughs> um i don't know i mean it looks it looks like it's a sim. very sim sim looks like sim yeah i think that, i think that's it um well do okay so we've change got... the orientation so you don't get so stuck on this <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> i think we'll be fine so we've got a lot of industry going on we've got the kiln and the windmills which could be making grain or something yeah so possibly could have gone in that direction it could be referring to a person who who would work here maybe I'm trying to think of how he might be combining a few concepts because he has a lot of symbols to work with there, a lot of separate aspects. We could go the classic like charades round, just say like person, right? And then just if it, if it were completely off, then we'll know that in the first round. That's then, that's then like go a good plan. It. The symbols are changing before our eyes. Sorry, uh, some, <laughs> I I need to. There we go. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I think we should say person. I think we should say. Sounds then, good. Then we'll know that it's. Uh, object at least or not sure okay so i uh, you want person as the as the word we are guessing person final that is answer. our final answer yeah okay so <laughs> you want to see what person means in this fictional language all right so uh... just drawing something all right, and so that's the meaning, of, that's the, the language, person, the symbol for person. Okay, great. So we got, so we got a piece of it, a piece we of got a pie. piece of it. 
And now that symbol is also, I'm forgetting the specific name of it. It's also the symbol in the lower left-hand corner there. Right? There, there's a name for that, that symbol in that small box? Yep. So that is unfortunately what I had already assigned to it. So. Right, right. Sorry. Okay. Because we were going to be revealed that later on, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, I see. We're, we're ahead of the curve. It's okay. We didn't need it. Yeah, we didn't need it, clearly. Okay. Person. So, yeah, it's got to be someone who, who like a farm works man, right? here. Yes. Do we think there might be any tools like in there? Using the tool? It might be like a blacksmith, right? Yeah. Do we want to say just tool? Do we want to try something more specific? Uh, if we get, yeah, if we get too specific early on, then we might be completely off. Right. We won't, we won't necessarily learn anything other than it's not that exact word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Unless he's like, he could guide us to be like, oh, well, it's kind of that, but we don't use it the same way. Um, I think let's, you want to say tool? Tool sounds good. All right. Let's, let's do, do tool. Tool? Yeah, mm -hmm. tools are is our word. All right, so tool will be the word, and we'll do that. All right, and so let's. E see. Even on your first day playing this, you were better than than we did. In our first <laughs> go. Like flatter easily. All right, I I do like language language oriented games, so this is definitely my jam. Uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna just gonna make that. There we go. All right, so it looks like that could be the. Uh, second from the left symbol there. Yeah, so tool, person, tool. Yeah. What is All the right. tool? <clears throat> um, okay, now, just looking at that image, the two lines on the top, they sort of remind me of clouds or something. I don't know <laughs> what a person would have to do with clouds, especially if they're using a tool, but... Um, like a shepherd, maybe, who like has to like watch weather, weather patterns? The only thing I'm thinking of. <laughs> Cloud Shepherd. Uh, we could Not also a Cloud guess... Shepherd, but like they, they're outdoors. You know what I yeah. mean? We could guess something like land. Like maybe they're using this tool on the land somehow. We could say land. We could say land. Land would land would cover a lot of like the farming and the. Um... Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's say land. Let's see okay. if it's yeah, let's let's see it. narrowed down. Okay, hold hold on. Let me let me reveal uh, the second card here. Uh, just because I, I need, I want to make sure that everyone can see it. Mm -hmm. to, I'm editing my my previous layout from last time, so I'm doing it live because the size of things are slightly different. Okay, so you should be able to see the tool now. Okay, so yep. So you want what what word? Land. 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 Okay. So land is the next next one. And uh, okay, so I need to think about this a little bit. Oh, I sure. location went to the. Uh, there we go. I decided to just move to the next card. My hotkeys are going wild. <laughs> um, land. Hmm. So that is land. Okay. So this is not a symbol that appears on the card. Um, so how does that how does that help us? Does it help us? Um, oops. I'm trying to get back to the... There it is. Uh, it is not on there, which means... It could technically still be a... It's obviously a person, so they, they are on the land. But he doesn't want us to go that route. Mm-hmm. Right, so, um, so is that the most we're gonna gain from that info, or could he possibly use this symbol somehow in the future to help us out? We could use that in the future. It's I possible. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Like if we're close, right? If it's like it's this, but except it's not land; it's on the this thing. Mm hmm. Um, mm. I think so. We have a person, tool, and 
But like this looks like maybe maybe it could be water. It has like that flowy, the M has mm-hmm. that flowiness about it. And if he wants us to go away from land, then there easily could be like a port right off the right off the, the image there. Right. Do we want to just guess water and keep it simple? We've got Yeah, let's do water. Let's yeah, do water. Yeah. Alright, water. Okay, so water is the next one. Because so we've me... got plenty more guesses after this, right? We've got six more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we're going to get a special ability, right? I. Uh, actually, we should have gotten that special ability already. That's after Ooh. round three. So oh, I'm sorry. Let me let me get the ability. You should have had this already. So I am now the game master. Give me one second to <laughs> un- fix the ordering here. There we go. All right, so this is the first one. Oop, let's uh, okay. get rid of the meaning really quick here. There we go. So this is the first one that you could use. So this is, I, I you can use this right now. Uh, you have to use this right now, I think. And it states whether or not the meaning has been set out loud already. Or do you want this one? You choose the category or uh, of the meaning below. Uh, the author chooses the category of the meaning below. I feel like we're already on the right track. I feel like it's probably going to be a person with an occupation. Right. Most likely. So I think I prefer the first one. Yeah, let's do the... F- and you ha- we have to like use it now and, and then... It- or we have to choose it now and we have yep. to use it. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's research. Let's go with the research, yeah. Okay, so you have not said this out loud so far. Okay. Yeah. Not a cloud shepherd. So not Sims, got it. Okay. Not not Sim, yep. So that's, there we go. So okay. you, you do want water. Uh, yeah. So let's get the clue word going here. So the uh, the symbol for water uh, is... That. Interesting. That. So, it looks like the the M in Sim there yep. is a is derived from the word for water. And if I had to guess, right, it's got to have something to do with water. Uh, yeah, I think a person with a tool that is adjacent to water is probably like a fisher. Like a like a boat person, a fishing person. Yeah, I mean, I think guessing fish or boat would be a good next call. Um. Yeah. Again, if you're oh. in chat, you can definitely suggest ideas. This is not just a solo, like a a, a duo experience. Uh, they can try to get chat's help as much as they'd like. Yeah, please, please help us. Uh, yeah use it <laughs> uh the i think boat is probably our best bet to like get different sure. information because like he'll point us to boat if we're trying to get to like f- fishing right uh, yep let's do it boat okay but let's it might go. be a pirate <laughs> but pirates are they need boats they're they have to do with boats yeah all right so we're going with the boat and I don't know what a pirate has to do with the peaceful countryside, but. Hmm. <laughs> um, all right, so. That looks like land. <laughs> okay. So um, we've got another symbol derived from the word for water right and then we're off <laughs> we're off. We're something's off. off something's off but that m still probably has to do with water in some way there yeah maybe it's like a uh, so a person with a tool and maybe water is actually like just like liquid right could be like liquid it could be like it's river or tender or something it could yeah. be going the wrong way like trying to put them in the water versus like they use water Right. We could say 
<laughs> we could say beer. <laughs> we could. I think yeah, I think that might be a little too, a little too specific out there. I still like fish. I think we could still guess fish. Let's guess fish. Yeah. We still have. Happens. What? This is our sixth guess. Mm hmm. All right, so you're going to go with fish. All I'm right. not sure if we're in the right spot with fish because I think he still would have given us both. Like something closer. Maybe, but you getting can. Close, we're getting close. But you can fish without a boat. Hmm. That's it. Okay. <laughs> I think okay, we're not we're not in the we're not on the water. Yeah. <laughs> we're not near the water anyway. Uh, yeah. I think we're using water. We're using Whatever water. Whatever that means. I don't know what we're doing with water, but I think like the tool is water related. Yep. We can say like um I think a broader thing would be like chef or something like that, or like a like a who uses like a farmer would use water too. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, what do you think? We haven't gotten anything to do with those two lines above the other symbols. Yeah. Orientation matters here. Orientation does matter. It could be clouds, right? It could be clouds, but he would only make it clouds if it were relevant somehow, right? Right. I'm not sure what occupation I have to do with clouds besides a meteorologist. <laughs> a meteorologist. Hey, guys, yeah. I, the, the symbol in the bottom left means person, by the way. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah, okay. Because uh, okay. I'm wondering if it could be... Just because that symbol means person doesn't mean the whole word has to necessarily be a person with an occupation right it's true it could be like a well or something but i mean if that m isn't water i feel like you're dancing water. around farmer a bit if we if we see a countryside here if we say an actual thing like an actual profession then even if we're not on the money then we can like who uses the well and then you know what i mean Sure. So, what do you want to? What do you want to guess? Do you want to let's, guess farmer? Let's do. I'm like, I feel like if we say farmer and it's chef, then we're going to be way off. You know what I mean? Let's right. do farmer. Let's do farmer. Farmer. All right. You want farmer? Okay. Yep. All right. Here we go. So farmer. Okay. Person. Um, sorry, I just need to. Land. SOS. Are you in trouble? Ian, are you in trouble? Blink twice if you're being held hostage. Okay, now that last thing, <laughs> the thing on the right there. <laughs> Is that what that final mark is to the right of the M and Sim? Like, is that is a mark, right? It's not just part that of the crack. That would be a mark. It's like a little triangle thing. So I think that might be what was just drawn. At least it looks very similar to it. Might be. And we don't know the meaning of that. Farmer. No. Okay, farmer so we have person. To that word. Yeah, we've got person, land, and then thing. Could that thing be plant? It could be a plant. Yeah, land, plant, yeah. It could be plant. So we could we could go right out and guess plant to see if we're correct. Or we could, at this point, we're getting a little desperate with the number of guesses. Yeah, we've left. got, we've only have one, two, we only have two, what, how many more? Two, three, four, five, six, so uh, three more. Three more, but only two of those rounds in which we actually learn something. Right. So maybe we need to just hope that that does mean plant. Let's hope that it means plant. Okay. I think that's the safest bet. So we have person... Tool, possibly plant, something related I'm to water. I'm not 100 that like. Okay, I, I am. I am fairly confident that 
what he drew here means plant. But I also am not sure that the hieroglyph matches that, that he just like maybe got close and we are drawing that conclusion. It is a stretch. Yeah. For uh, you, Rudy, can you open went black for me? What's, what's, oh, I, I don't understand what that means. <laughs> Let me put something in chat. So I'm, like, I'm watching. Uh, I'm watching the chat or the the Twitch stream right now. It's, it's fine on my end. Okay. Hmm. Um. Okay. Yeah. So that that is a stretch for sure. But we might need a hail mary here. Right. Um. So so hold on. Let's just go back to what we know. So we know that it's a person. We know it's a tool, and we know that I'm ninety nine percent sure that that Kirby thing is related to 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 water. Right. It's got to be. And then, and then, if we if we carry the plant idea of like this is plant, the water does plant stuff. Maybe could the could the M mean like rain or something? The rain. Here, here's my thought. What if we what if we what if we try to clarify that cloud thing? Yeah, that sounds good. That seems like a good you know round seven hail mary. Okay. It's like if we know it's clouds, then we can like have a much bigger picture of what's going on here. Sure. Do we want to guess cloud? Yeah, I think the orientation kind of gave it gave it away a little bit of like we should be focused on that part of it. Okay. Let's say cloud. Okay. All right. So cloud is the thing. So let's do this. Okay. There we go. There it is. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. What if it means smoke? You know? So cloud? What, cloud, that's, water. Yeah. Cloud, cloud is, is water and it means air. It means air. It means air, but, water, but could it also water mean... Water sky? Water and sky? Air? Yeah, I, I'm not saying you're wrong, but could it also mean smoke? Because, like, smoke and clouds are similar. Um, the water, a water smoke would be, yeah, it could be that. Right, but I, I'm saying like the two lines mean smoke because here we have two lines plus the symbol that means water for cloud. So the two lines right. in the card does not I, mean. I, 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 I see the I see the connection. Yeah. Um, it, no, it could we, be air. What though. do we think M is? Because <laughs> that seems to be like our our, you know. Yeah. The thing that we're not getting out of this context. I don't know. Um, I think air air probably makes more sense. If we had person, tool, maybe air, maybe plant. Is this fifth element? Are we doing fifth element on here? <laughs> is it going to be Bruce Willis? Is that what, the, is that what this is? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> if it's Bruce Willis, I'm signing up for right now. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our last opportunity to learn mm -hmm. to learn something right something okay let's go back to like the scene the scene of the crime uh so so what everything that is happening with this hieroglyph is just off camera from what this image is showing us mm-hmm And this person who uses a tool with water and air, we're guessing air, right? Maybe, yeah. maybe, and then the, the, the stretch on the end of plant. Yeah. Um, but again, it's not, that end, it doesn't mean water, it means something to do with water. Yeah, it could be, be, could be a river, could be a well, could be a rain. Could be a pitcher, could be yeah. a pot. Sure, yep. Not to not to steer us in towards chef again, but <laughs> could this whole thing mean like florist or something? Yeah, I'm thinking of like I don't. Okay, I'm 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 wondering because I don't think I don't think necessarily that a person who looks at this image and like maybe sees the town right is necessarily going to jump to chef. And I could be wrong, but I don't think that I don't think it's chef just based on this. The, the scene, the image, mm -hmm. right? And a person who uses a tool with the sky and water, air and water, whatever, is going to do something else, I think, out of this scene. Okay. Oh, Q 
curator of intrigue has some comments. Oh, something medieval. Interesting. So it's an execution. Yeah. We got it. We got it. <laughs> Executioner did it. Yep. Um, blacksmith comes to mind. We said blacksmith, and he said that we did not say it. I said blacksmith like at the very beginning of this. Oh, you did. Yes. And then so he said that we did not say the word. It could be any number of occupations that would go on in this village, in this industrial town. Uh -huh. um, those windmills are like 500 feet tall. Just have to point that out. Those are like monstrous. It's, um, a, it's, a, it's a perception thing. You, you're, you're wrong. No. <laughs> they, are not, they are not the size of the Empire State Building. <laughs> um, the world's tallest windmills. That's that would be a good travel channel show. Mm -hmm. The world's also a maintainer. It could be like an engineer. It could be like a like a worker, work person. Um, what's your what's your round nine guess? Yes, yeah, so this is the last round. We're gonna learn something. Uh, I'm just struggling with what the M could possibly be that would yeah. help us, right? Because that's all we. It, it, Learning round, right? So, like, what are we going to learn from that M? Could it be something to do with weather? Do we want to just say weather or, guess, like, rain? I almost want to say, like, container. Container. Like, we go, go generic just so that we can, like... Sure. We'll feed, we, if we feed Ian a generic thing, then if he's working with us, by the way. Right, right. And I am. <laughs> okay. I, I like container. Let's do container because then we'll know if it's completely off, then we will go yeah. far away from Chef and other things okay yeah all right so container um let's see how i can do this oh yep there's the giveaway link right there it's showing up um... right that is not a boat <laughs> yes <Yeah. laughs> oh thanks for thanks for following along curator for, for our journey <laughs> Get it. Container. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's my best. That's my best. Alrighty. So container with container for water. Container for water, yes. And air? Or I think. Air Stop. air and plant are both guesses. Air and but... plant are both guesses, you're right. But cloud could be steam. Man, yeah. are, if it's, it, have we been dancing around Chef this whole time? Could be. We had, we, what else? What else would be in the container for water? That would be a career, right? Or maybe not a career, but I think I think it's. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what the occupation for someone who like operates a well would be. So it's probably not that. Um, tool. <laughs> and like, you should have guessed well operator. <laughs> did we say chef at the beginning? We didn't say. All we did was person tool, and then we went to with farmer at some point. Maybe uh, chef. Land. Yeah, maybe chef is our best guess. I think that's our best. Like, yeah, let's do chef. All okay, right. So chef is your last guess. Our and... final in the in the final hour. Right. And so by by rule of this, I do actually draw the final word. And oh, really? Yes. I I, I just like to do it because it's fun. Um, it's dramatic. Yes, it, it's it's dramatic. Yes. Okay, here's the yes. No, it's gonna be someone who uses a tool. Maybe I don't know. Oh, oh, this is looking promising. There's the plant. We might be off, but he's gonna draw as many correct symbols as possible. To that is not. That is not a thing. Definitely that we did not uh, hit the mark. It, it, oh. So that is not it. You had some things that were very close, but the actual meaning of the word was glass blower. Oh. Glass blower. Yep. So let's go through. Let's go through the the word, the the, yep. the meaning of this word. So you definitely had the person. You had the tool. Uh, yeah. Air was the meant to be blowing. And uh, yep. you got hung up on the water, but water was part of the bigger symbol. It was yeah. it was not meant to be water. It was meant to be more flow. 
And so mm. I I tried to like I, I tried to tie in container into it where it was like you're trying to blow some like a, a you're trying to create a solid thing out of a liquid. Mm -hmm. And so like that's and then the last little hook hooky thing on the far right was simply occupation. So mm. that's what I was trying to go for. The hook was occupation. Okay. Yeah. Farmer was occupation. Gotcha. Land occupation. Yeah. So you can see like the farmer was a person on a on land that does an occupation so that's what mm -hmm. that was uh, i have a question i have a question for your a, process a... i have a question when you when you are when you are making these decisions about what the symbols mean do you decide it right away or do you like i had glass blower that's the word that i'm going to use and now i'm just going to like assign meanings as we go along to help them i that's what i was trying to do uh person yeah. i i wanted the per like the symbol for person to be like the most important piece and so that's why I did that. I probably should have changed up early on when you said person right off the bat uh, and tried to do something else to to do something different. I should have done that, but uh, that was after like I, after round two. I was like, shoot, I should have done it that way. But I mean, I, I had so to I'll go get... with what I had. So, I mean, this is this is part of this game. You're trying to collectively come to a conclusion of what this thing means. And... I had rough ideas of what every symbol, symbol meant, but as you were providing as you were providing clues, I was having to change things up. Um, I like that. I so... like that because Mysterium has that same goodness, right? Where you're like, they're not close, so I got to like give them something mm -hmm. that they're not close, right? right? Right. And so that's just how this game works. I I had to I had to keep going, and so fish fish was a was an interesting one, and you didn't pick up on this, but fish had part of the word person in it. So the top fish little, person. so I see fish, I, uh, the, the, it had water, but then it had like the top part of that. So it's like a being. So right. that was just like being, and then the extra hook on the other part of the person was person. Uh, yeah. Made, made the entire, so again, you could break words down into smaller yeah. pieces. So like the symbols down into smaller pieces. And that's kind of how this game works. So I, uh, what, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a quick reset. Uh, so we're going to take uh, about a three-minute break for uh, our guests to do a quick uh, water break or whatever it need be. And you at home can also just do a quick little whatever you need to do. We'll be back in about three minutes when I have reset and gotten new glyphs and everything for our friends. And we'll be right back in just a little bit. And if you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. Uh, it helps the algorithm, and I'm trying to get to a point where uh, YouTube will actually pay me money. So that would be great if nice. you could just subscribe. <laughs> All right, so we'll be back in a little bit. Stay tuned. 